Hi and welcome back to the Symmetry YouTube channel. We've got an excellent video today from our simulation expert, Wazim Yunus, about creating a symmetry analysis in Autodesk Inventor. Thanks, I hope you enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Wasim. I'm from Symmetry and I'm going to illustrate how we can perform a symmetry analysis within Inventor Simulation. We can see a whole complete model here and for simplicity I've already created a half model. So the model is symmetrical about the XY plane. So now we're going to take it into stress analysis. And first of all we're going to have a look at the materials and as you can see, the material is already predefined from within Inventor. The next stage, I'm going to apply some constraints. We can use a fixed constraint as this side plate is basically bolted to another component. And we're going to call it bolted constraint. And now we're going to apply a bearing load to one of these lugs. And the load to be specified will be half of the actual value because we're using half a model. We'll specify the direction of the load. And we'll rename it. And since we have create a half model, we need to define symmetry conditions. And to define symmetry within the event simulation, we use the frictional constraints and apply them to our surfaces, which have been created as a result of the split. And you can see here we've got the bolted constraint and the symmetry and the load. And now we're ready to have a look at the mesh. As the mesh is a little bit coarse, we can further refine the mesh. And we'll update the mesh. Now we're ready to run the analysis. Okay. So now what we can see here is we can look at the stress results, the displacements, and the safety factor results. What you can also do is animate the results. And now I'm going to show you a little tip on how to create, uh, visualize a complete model using ground planes within Inventor. So first of all, I'm going to change the display to undeformed. And we're going to have to change the view. I'm going to have a look at the grounded plane. As you can see, the ground plane is in the wrong orientation. So what we'll do here is right hand click here and set the current view to front. And you can see the work plane has been created in the correct orientation. We can then go into here and set the reflection settings to 100% reflection and no blurring. And there we go. This way we can actually look at the complete model, we can look, look at the stress results and the displacements. I hope you found this quick video of some use and thanks for watching this. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back more for some more simulation videos and Inventor and AutoCAD. Thanks very much. Bye.